Hi, you're watching part three of the No Caddy video series. In the last two videos, we were looking at notes in general, and then we were looking at the three bedding note and how we could customize it to better meet our needs. What we're going to do in this video is customize it even further so that we can get even better information. So I'm gonna go back to the scripting screen and you see this note definition that was originally three bets is now three bets light. The thing about this definition is it's any three bet from any position, any game size, well, three to four handed to five to six handed, uh, any stack size, and against any player type. So what we're going to do is we're going to narrow it down to three bets that are against players that play similarly to the way that I do. For example, I'm not interested in knowing how this player three bets against very loose players. The range is going to be different. I'm interested in how this player three bets against tight players. So the way that we program that is first let's look at pre-flop actions and you can see that it's specified as a min three bet, a three bet, or an oversized three bet. In order for him to be able to three bet, that means there had to have been a two bet, also known as an open raise. And so we don't have to specify that normally because of the fact that we specified three bet means that it's implied that there was a two bet. However, if we're looking for more specific information, then we need to go to previous actions and we need to be more specific about the two bet. So I'm going to go ahead and create an open raise here. And I'm going to specify here in the color read that it was done by a tight player. So by the default color reads, you have ABC, which is basically just like a tag, except he's not quite as good because he's not three betting as much. So we're going to leave ABC, rock, and tag. The rock is a very tight player. We'll get rid of these other player types because they're not similar to the way that I play. And then we're going to specify that there was an open raise. And then we click Save New. And now we have a more specific open raise that has to have happened before the three bet. So we save the definition now. And what this is going to do is it's just going to take notes on three betting versus player types that are similar to us. And now let's look at some of the other customizations that could have been made. You already saw that you can specify a card range. Here you can specify what kind of position the player is in. You can specify his stack size. And you can even be more specific about stack size. This is just a very general classification. But if you want to specify that he was 200 big blinds deep, then you would do so here. Typically, I remove heads up from my note definitions just because heads up plays so much differently than any other game size. But if you play sometimes six max, sometimes full ring, you can make different definitions or you can specify the numbers. So if you are a tournament player and you're only interested in how they play on the bubble, you can specify here four to four and that'll just be the bubble. Also, you can look at other options like action had to be folded to player preflop. So if we're talking about an open raise, we can specify if there were limpers or not, or we can we can eliminate the fact that there were limpers. If we check action had to be folded, that means that there were no limpers. If we want to specify that there were limpers, then we can add a limp here in the previous actions. There's a lot more details in the manual, but these videos are just to give you an idea of how the customizations can be done. Thank you, this has been part three of the No Caddy video series.